Hey everyone, it's Celeste. I am uh, in my front yard and this is um, so, ooh, it's almost October. Yeah, maybe it might be October 1st today. <laughs> uh, no, it's uh, right at the end of September. I can tell him I'm massively paying attention to what day it is because it's the weekend. Um, I am going to replant this um, Pelosocerus azurus. Uh, it's this cactus right here, this blue one. Um, I've had it out here for almost two years, maybe almost, maybe two years, and uh, it needs to be replanted. And the reason why is because, as you can see, the soil level has really, really, really dipped down um, inside of this pot. And so I want to I want to replant this. I also have a second one. Which I pull over. I have a second one right here, so I thought it'd be kind of cool if I stuck the second one in the pot with it. And I also want to make sure that uh, when I am repotting this that I'm adding in more pumice. This is potted in a um, palm and cactus soil, but I did have problems at one point. You can see here when it was raining a lot where there was some rot. Um, by the way, I was able to stop the rot just by spraying it with a copper spray, which is pretty cool. But you can see a couple times now, it's just had trouble with the amount of water that uh, has been, you know, coming down during our rainy season. So what I want to do is I want to add pumice and I'm just going to, you know, pull this up, up higher, put the second one in and then add the pumice in. Um, so I thought I would bring you along in the little journey here as I repot this and you can see how I'm mixing the soil and, um, you know, how I, how I basically pull this guy out. Um, so since it's been in here for two years, I am going to have to pull, uh, it, it's got roots, so I'm gonna have to use a shovel and uh, just, you know, make some space around it so that I can pull it up and out. Um, but then at that point, then I'll be working on adding some of the soil. Um, I did have this glass top dressing in, so you can see I pulled most of it out. So I will have that, I'll put that back over the top. Um, the rest of this, it's, you know, I have more in the garage, so if I need it, I can always put it over the top. Um, but uh, that stuff tends to be fairly expensive, so I, I was trying to pull that out as much as possible. Uh, so, um, stick around, and we'll get this guy repotted. Should be cool. That was a little harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> um, but here's the gigantic root ball. And I did have to use... A garden knife so if you guys don't have one of these yet um, it's super awesome the only thing to remember is that it's a it's a blade on one side and serrated on the other and definitely been an idiot and uh, not reminded myself that it's a double-sided blade so uh, but one of the most useful tools especially when you're growing cacti and succulents um, especially like mangaves or any of the ones that tend to send down a lot of roots you're going to want one of those because it's super helpful pulling it out of giant big pots and things like that. Um, these are just kitchen tongs, which, as you can see, have been repurposed as cactus grabbers. You can see all the nice little spines in there. Um, and that's the giant root ball. So it's a little mad because uh, it got bumped around. So, you know, it'll be repairing itself for a little bit, but um, that's basically what it looks like. So the only thing I'm going to be doing at this point is I'm just going to be lifting it up. So I'm going to be adding more soil in there. I'll move this to the side just temporarily with my trusty tongs. Um, and then I will be adding some more soil in here. So I'll show you the, the composition of the soil in a minute. Some of the soil mixed in. Um, you'll notice that this has a lot of these larger granule of the pumice in here. Um, the original soil that was put in here, this was cactus, palm and cactus soil. Um, but um, what I noticed, or, or it's called, uh, let me see, it's called cactus and citrus soil. Um, so it's meant to, you know, it's got a high level of sand in it. It's got, you know, some organic matter, but not too much. And then um, it's, you know, let me show you the consistency of it. So hopefully you can see that down in the bag there. Um, so the consistency of this stuff, you know, sorry about this, I'm gonna fix this real quick. Um, so the consistency of this stuff is, it's got a lot of organic matter in it, but it doesn't have 
um, as much rock. And so from my area, what I'm finding is that if I have a cactus like this and it is going to be exposed during the winter months, that it makes a lot of sense um, for me to you know, add in some of this pumice just to make sure that I get much, much, much more drainage. Um, so it's an eyesight thing at this point. Um, you know, this cactus was doing okay. It, you know, it lasted, last winter it was actually fine. It was the winter before when it was first getting established, it was having a hard time, but um, it, you know, it needs more drainage in it. So, so that's what I'm doing by adding this in. And then I'm just creating a hole um, you know, you saw that there's, you know, a fairly significant root ball. So I'm going to put that root ball in there. And then as I'm planting, I'm probably going to go up in like a, like a mound like this. So I'll show you guys that as I'm going through. And, and that's just because what I'm doing, if, I don't know if you remember at the beginning of the video, but the cactus was kind of like sunk down in. And what that means is, is that water could come up around the base of the cactus and then kind of pool. So if I plant it in a mound, it's not going to do that. It'll actually drain to, to the lower part and so that reduces the likelihood that I'm going to have any problems with um, you know with anything uh, pooling around the base and then causing any of the rot so um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the cactus in I this is <laughs> this requires two hands so I won't be able to uh, film while I'm doing it but um, if there's logical places that I can stop where things aren't gonna fall over um, I'll definitely do that and explain what I'm doing Okay, so we're a little farther in now. Um, you can see again that um, I've been, just been adding more and more of that soil. I've been putting the pumice in that helps with the drainage. Um, this guy has soil all over him because he kept falling over as I was doing this. This is um, incredibly tricky <laughs> to do <laughs> when you're, um, uh, you know, it's you by yourself because you're having to use tongs and then, you, you know, you're trying to basically keep the plant from taking a dive on you. Um, one thing I'm going to mention, um, it, when you are replanting cactus, one of the things you need to pay attention to is the orientation to the sun. Cactus develop uh, one side, basically like a patina, right, um, that protects them on one side versus another. I'm not super worried about it right now because the weather around is, you know, 80-ish degrees um, for my area, but if I was going to experience, you know, 90, 100 degree days or something like that, I would definitely put a, um, you know, some type of umbrella over this cactus just to help it slowly acclimate. And the reason why is because otherwise it's just going to burn, right? Um, it's just like, it's just like us when we go out into the sun and we don't have some block on we can just get some birds. And so, um, you know, these cactus, they actually put uh, that, that patina, part of that um, that you see on there, that kind of um, whitish stuff that's protecting the cactus skin. And so if it hasn't built that up, it can actually burn the cactus. So um, that guy's neighbor was coming over and wanted to talk to me about her party and uh, the dogs were not having it. So I'm um, sorry for all of the commotion. Um, I'll try to edit out that part of it. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, they, they develop basically sunblock on them. And so if obviously if you put it back and you turn it, for example, you could expose the side that sees the sunlight all the time uh, that doesn't have any of that kind of natural sunblock on there to the sun and then you're going to end up burning your plant. So, um, you know, just keep that in mind as you're replanting any of your cactus that, you know, that's, that's how they protect themselves. And if you spin them, you could end up with a sunburn. So if all of a sudden you start seeing, you know, your, your plant looks like really yellow or has a, um, you know, kind of, it almost looks like, like a bark, like a corking effect. You can kind of see that down at the bottom right there. Um, that's sunburn and yeah, it's a bummer and yeah, it sucks if, um, you've had that happen, uh, but you know, they grow out of it. So, um, you know. Again, it's just something to think about as you're planting your cactus, just make sure. Um, so you can see over here on the left, you can see this one. This one has a lot of that natural patina, so that's what you're seeing there. And so, um, and that's because I put it back in the exact same position that it was in previously. Um, you can see this one that is much more green does not have that on that side, and that's because it used to be in the backyard. So. You know, I'll be keeping the umbrella out here a little bit, just giving it a little bit of a of a break until it uh, gets to the point where it's actually built that out. And you can see on the top where it's done that, right? 
um, but then you can see down towards the side where it, it hasn't. And so just, you know, keep that in mind. So if you buy a cactus, for example, at a store and you bring it home, you plant it and they tell you, oh, it's full sun. And then you get home and you're, you put it in your yard and all of a sudden it's having a hard time. That's it. Uh, that, that's what's happening. It's just uh, you planted it on the side that doesn't have the, the natural sun block. Uh, so anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the blue glass now uh, because this is basically it. I've got the level up. Um, as I mentioned, you can see, let me try to give you a side view of this. See how that's up higher in the pot? So that's what I was talking about. I'm, now I'm making it so that I don't have to worry about any other water pooling because the soil is taller and um, in the middle and then it'll naturally drain towards the sides. So when you're planting, you know, anything like cactus or anything that's water sensitive inside of a pot, you know, just think about doing that uh, because it's going to help you. It's going to prevent that water from pooling. And then, of course, I've added the pumice in, like I mentioned, to that um, cactus soil, cactus and uh, citrus soil, even though it's good. Um, you know, just from my particular area, because we can tend to get some pretty big downpours. I have to watch it with some of these plants. And since I'm repotting, it's a good time to add the pumice anyway. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add the final touches in and then I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so there it is. And um, I'll give you one last shot. Um, uh, well, I guess we've got enough sun on it, so I don't need to do that. You, you can see that blue fire glass. Uh, I don't use, I used to use the fire glass a lot more, but you could see from earlier in the video, it's quite the pain in the butt um, in terms of <laughs> trying to pull it out of the pot when you need to repot, and you will need to repot. Uh, so it's important to, to um, you know, make the decision how much you wanna be doing that because uh, the stuff is expensive. So I, um, you know, I've started only just using this in kind of like accent pots. I used to use it more in the landscape and, you know, even had like brown and things like that. And I just, I'm not doing that anymore because uh, it's too much of a pain in the butt to try to pick all that stuff out all the time. Uh, so anyway, this is, this is what it looks like. Um, you know, I like everything in threes. And so that's why I added that little log avoides over there um, just so that it looks, looks super cute and balanced. And um, that's basically it. Uh, that thing is a landscape light. Uh, so just uh, so that it kind of does up lighting. So I'll come out later on tonight and I will adjust it. Um, you'll notice that there's water on it. I have just lately sprayed it. So remember with cactus and succulents, when you repot them, you're disturbing their roots and they don't necessarily have the ability to absorb water anymore. So if you soak something, uh, you're gonna end up actually killing the plant because it's gonna die from rot because it can't absorb the water. The neighbors were walking by more party prep <laughs> for my neighbor um one of the things that i am starting to do because i've been having problems with mealy bug i haven't had scale yet um but i have had problems with mealy bug so i've been um putting this in um which is uh, for my area bonide systemic uh, granules which helps with insect control for eight weeks um, especially when i repot something and it's a little more in a um, fragile state uh, the thing about that is you have to cut off your blooms if you do that because it can actually kill uh, beneficial insects like bees. So it's not something that you want to use just kind of willy-nilly around your yard. It's definitely something that you, um, you only want to use in certain scenarios. And obviously since, since this guy isn't going to bloom anytime soon, I'm not going to worry about that. I can go ahead and I can add that in and, and help protect the plant just in the, the interim. Okay, so uh, that's it. Uh, that's what it looks like. And having been repotted, um, some of the items that I recommend you always have, that garden knife, um, having tongs, especially if you're working with any of the cactus, because you can see those are, those are some, those, those are some spines. Uh, so you want to make sure that you have that and, um, you know, making sure that you have pumice if you're needing to add some additional drainage. Definitely the pumice is the thing to add into the soil and, um, you know, just, uh, Looks beautiful now, so I'm looking forward to watching these guys get bigger. I think they'll enjoy the renewed soil and renewed nutrients, and um, I'll give you an update later on. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. You know, find a little pot, find a little section in your garden that you can you can redo, and um, you know, just enjoy some of uh, some of your beautiful time in your yard. And I hope you're having a wonderful weekend and getting ready for fall if you're in my area. 
in my zone or um, getting ready for summer if you're in the opposite. Um, so uh, have a wonderful weekend. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.